Hey YouTube, it's Christina from Keystone Beanie here. I'm having one of those, uh, hair days where you're just kind of like, what am I going to do? It's not cooperating, and you don't want to just go wet your hair out. You kind of just want to, yeah. Anyways, I wanted to do a review on my Glamour Doll Eyes. I believe that's, I always get it mixed up. Let's see. Did I say it's right? Yeah. I always want to say Glamour Eye Dolls for some reason. But it's Glamour Doll Eyes, and I always wanted to purchase from them for months. And I finally did. I bought five sample jars, and it wasn't that much money, actually. And you get, you know, a really generous amount of, you know, a one gram uh, amount of product. And they just randomly pick the colors for you. You can put um, a preference of, like, what colors you don't want. But anyways, and then I also got two sample baggies. Um, I'm wearing colors from them right now. I believe, yeah, I'm wearing all of them actually. What am I thinking? Um, on my lids, I am wearing Gold Digger, and it's a really pretty yellowish gold. Um, and then on the crease, I used a MAC brush to put this beautiful blue ribbon. You can't see it as much because I didn't want it to be really dark, I wanted it to be subtle. It's right there, and then I used on the V to blend out also in the crease, um, Hello Brooklyn, which is a really nice dark blue. Um, and I also used my NYX Roll-On shadow, or Roll-On glitter, to put right here. It's a really nice blue. Anyways, so this is what I have from them, but I wanted us to, to review their shadows. And Glamour Doll Eyes are, you know, is, not are. It's an amazing brand. Uh, I always want, like I said, I always want to try them. My first impression is the packaging. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. And the brochure that came with the package, um, I showed in my other video, is awesome. Look at the artwork on their business card. It even shows, I believe she's the owner, and it shows a makeup, or it could be a, um, one of the models. I'm not quite sure. I should look it up. Um, yeah, and. I just think that packaging is very important. Obviously, quality of the product is most most important, but I think to really get people to buy your products, it's you know, eye popping packaging and logo really helps with your company. And and I'm very and I'm you know I'm a sucker for cute packaging and beautiful packaging. So I really feel like they did a great job with that. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna see if the owner is this lady. Because I always feel bad when I'm doing review views and I don't have all the information. I feel really bad. Yeah, I can't find it. But anyways, so I think the packaging has been really great. Um, it's really fun. And I think the jars that she, they use are really easy to open, to close. They don't want to open up by themselves. So I know that some of them are loose. Some jars that people use are loose, but these aren't. I hope my puppy doesn't come in here. Watch well, just my, my uh, in-law's dog, but I left my door open. Um, and I think the color selections that they picked for me are awesome. And I think it's cool because the brochure they gave me also came with another card um, that tells you how you can make your look with the colors that I got. I think they kind of do give you random colors, but I think also they kind of incorporate them into a look, which I think is cool. But if you don't know what colors I got, I'll go over them again. Gold Digger. Typical girl. Really pretty purple. Um, Fyra, Fyra. Really pretty sparkly purple. I mean, pink. Immature. Nice green. Blue ribbon. That beautiful blue. Um, a sample baggie of Summer Party, which is Slumber Party, which is really pretty purple, like pastel y. Um, it's gonna be great for spring. And Hello Brooklyn, which is that dark blue. I think that the eyeshadows themselves are very easy to use. They're not they're not too powdery like some. Um, they blend very well. I think another cool thing about this, besides the super dark ones, um, which obviously will appear super dark at first, um, blending it out, it can. It can uh, be a little more subtle, but I think what's cool about their shadows is that they have really great pigmentation, um, but at first it seems like it's kind of subtle. So you have to um, 
not put a lot of layers, but I think it's cool that if you want a subtle look, these eyeshadows start out subtle, and the more you use, the more pigmentation you get. And it's not like super subtle where it's really sheer, um, as in, you know, you could see your skin underneath, but um, so that's what I like about it, is that it's very buildable, which I, I love that about products, because you know sometimes they can have amazing pigmentation, but it's like super bold right away off the bat when you put it on your eye, but sometimes you kind of want a subtle look, and what I like about these is, like I said, they're very buildable. Um, the colors are awesome. If you haven't worked online, they have a very awesome range of colors, um, and you may be asking, what's the difference between a lot of things I've talked about? Well, I think they have their own unique style, and... They have, I think, their own unique colors as well. I think there's probably similar colors you can get from other brands like Mad Style that I like or Sweet Treats Cosmetics or Pretty Addictions, but I think that they have their own unique colors as well. So I would highly recommend you checking them out too if you're thinking of trying out a new brand. Um, they are a little bit on the pricier side, I would say. Um, let's see. Eyeshadows individually are for full size or $6. Um, the collections are kind of pricey, but... Um, you can always buy sample sizes, and you can choose between sample baggies or sample jars, with sample jars a little bit more. Um, and you can also just get, like, I think five sample sample ba um, sample jars for, like, 12, which is really not that bad. And you get one gram, and I think it's a lot, personally. So they're not too expensive, but they're on a pricier side. Um, they have a lot of things to offer, and they have... Some lip stuff, and they're mostly an eyeshadow brand. But anyway, so I think the shadows are very high quality and amazing. Um, and so, so I talked about packaging, which is amazing. The, the quality and the pigmentation is great. The customer service seems to be really great. Um, and the shipping, I, it shipped pretty quick, and I didn't have any problems with that. I didn't have to wait too long. Um, I'm not quite sure how long it took me to get it, but... You know, it wasn't like I was waiting forever. Um, yeah. Basically, I really... Um, 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 I need to stop saying um. Uh, basically, I am very impressed with the company for my first purchase. And I'm going to be purchasing again whenever I get the money. You know, when I should be a good girl. But um, I think the if I had to pick a full size out of all these colors, which I obviously wouldn't want to pick all of them, I would say Hello Brooklyn because it's just a gorgeous dark blue um I wish I could just edit out my ums but I'm too lazy it's a great color for a cooler smoky look but you can also add some warmer tones to it like this gold or you know it's just I think it's a really great color so I would definitely get Hello Brooklyn as a full size the jar size would have been great uh, I really do like Somber Party. It's a really pretty purple. I don't have anything like that. So I'm really glad because I got colors that I don't already have that's similar. Um, I think I, I sort of have an immature, immature. I have something kind of similar, but it's different. Uh, I thought first I thought Gold Digger was going to be very similar to Pot of Gold from Matte Style Cosmetics, but this is more of the yellow side. Matte Styles is more of a more of a goldy color than this. Um, this is a, this is pretty though, so I think that's cool. It's different, so I don't have to worry about having the same color. You know, that's one the one thing about that. Getting the sample surprise package is that you're not quite sure what colors you're gonna get. So I was a little worried that I'm gonna get colors that were similar, but I didn't want to you know buy from them without trying out the samples first. And I don't like baggies as much because they're a little messy, so I wanted to get the jars. But yeah. I think that's all I wanted to say about this this brand. I really, really like them. Um, if you haven't already tried Glamour Doll Eyes, you should definitely try them out. I know I was hesitant at first because I've tried so many brands. I'm like, should I, you know, should I try them out? But I like to because I like to do reviews and try them out. You know, I'm an inspired makeup artist. I needed, I wanted to figure out what brands I would want to use on my customers later on, on my family and friends, or you know, rec you know, be able to recommend recommend different brands. So that's why I always kind of branch out. Um, and if I don't really, I'm not really impressed with packaging and necessarily color range, I may not even try it first, but Glamour Doll Eyes is definitely eye-catching. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. Definitely ask me any more questions because I hope I don't miss anything, but I talked about packaging, um, customer service, shipping, pigmentation, and the product itself, so I think that's about it. Um, yeah, so...
definitely go check out Glamour Doll Eyes. And I'll, go, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day. And yeah, bye. Blah, 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 blah.